Doctor, can you describe glutathione and, and what its role is and what its role specifically is in chelation? Glutathione is huge to your body and to chelation. Uh, glutathione is the main antioxidant in the body. It is setting the redox tone in the body. That's the balance between reduction and oxidation. The mm. cells are heavily reducing. And uh, they used to think that ascorbate was setting that tone, but it's really glutathione that's doing it. And that's just one of its roles. It also has a role in protein repair. Whenever you have some oxidative damage that damages some proteins, the glutathione goes in and repairs a lot of that. Uh, it has a lot of signaling where it's signaling whether there's excess oxidative damage uh, or excess oxidative stress and how to modulate that. And it's quenching oxidative damage and it's detoxifying things by linking onto them and then taking them out of the body. But everybody talks about glutathione as if it's a lone warrior, but it's not. Glutathione is there and it exerts all these different influences or these different actions through the activities of its different enzymes. So I said it quenches free radicals, but it only does that through glutathione peroxidase. I said it'll do protein repair, but it only does that through glutaredoxin. I said that it'll do detoxification, but it does that through the agency of two things. One is glutathione S-transferase. So if we imagine in this room where a cell, there's a mercury and it's stuck to, uh, say here's a cellular protein, you've got, a, you've got a, a mercury stuck to it. Now if glutathione comes along, the mercury doesn't just leap off into the arms of the glutathione. You need an enzyme, I would be the enzyme, to link those two together. So now you have a mercury glutathione conjugate, but now it has to get out of the cell and out of the body. And over there at the door is the transporter that does it. It's an active transport protein called a multi-drug resistance protein. It's going to take this mercury glutathione conjugate, ship it out of the cell and into the blood. There'll be another one just like it that'll pull it from the blood into the liver, and then another one that dumps it from the liver into the bile and into the small intestine. There's others that will pull it from the blood right into the intestines or into the kidneys. Uh, but that's how the whole thing works. And all of those parts have to be firing. In fact, there's a great, to illustrate what I talk about, I found a great study where they were looking at cell cultures. And they found this culture of cells that could swim in cadmium. There's just no problem. And then they found it was also resistant to arsenic and mercury. Well, these are all glutathione, well, these are all detoxified by the glutathione system. So when they dissected the cells to see what was responsible for this resistance, they found that they made a lot of glutathione, they had a lot of glutathione S transferase activity, and they had really good activity of those transport proteins moving things out. And if they knocked down any one of those, the cells were no longer resistant to the mercury. Now the mercury would hit sensitive sites and knock out its biochemistry. So that's what I said. It's not the level so much as the interaction between the level and the robustness of the defense system. And the mm -hmm. defense system is the glutathione system. So that is the most important thing in your defense against metals. And a lot of people, they talk in naturopathy about different things that happen that help with detoxification, like garlic. You probably hear that mm -hmm. garlic is good for, for mercury detoxification. And then you may hear that they, people will say, well, it's because it's a sulfur compound and therefore it's a chelator. Or the broccoli family, or broccoli mm -hmm. seed extract. It's a sulfur compound and therefore a chelator. But if you look at the chemistry of those compounds, they're not chelators at all. They are stimulants to the glutathione system. This is how we do our detoxification work. We use specific plant compounds that trigger a reaction where a messenger goes from outside the nucleus to inside the nucleus and tells a whole family of genes to come up at once, to be transcribed and increase the levels of these proteins. And that family uh, is a family that includes all of your intracellular antioxidants, including, of course, glutathione, and the phase two enzymes like glutathione S transferase and the transport proteins. So these things that are good for detoxification are good because they turn up your chelation system, which is the glutathione system.